All right, everybody. Today I've got a video on my Droid Razor HD, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a new application. It's gonna be an app review or how-to, a little bit of both information about this application. It is called the Razor Toolbox. It is released by an awesome developer called P3 Droid. So this is his app right here. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna go through a lot of what it can do. Um, like I said, developer right here, we're going to go to change log, and here you can see developer is P3 Droid. So, there's a lot of options in this thing. It's a really great toolbox application for root users. Um, also, I have an unlocked bootloader on my Droid Razor HD. Um, some features you may want to have that to do on here, but you don't have to to run it, but just root access is definitely going to be required for it. I've already allowed this thing root access, but let's just go ahead and check out some of the features. So first one you have here is a file browser, which is your standard root file browser. But what's nice about it is it also has this kind of a browser where you can just see pictures, videos. It kind of breaks it down like a MIUI does. Um, so you got some good information there, a bunch of information down here at the bottom. You can also do an FTP server if you want to. You can enable that stuff if you have that at your location. So that's pretty sweet. You also have your SD card space and um, available space right there also. So you have those options under File Browser. You have a terminal emulator built into it, um, which is just your standard terminal, terminal emulator. So just kind of packaged it all in one. You do have a logcat uh, log reader which is in time logcat so you can see it as you're going along it updates like you can see so that's some good information if you're doing any kind of development or stuff like that you want to see what your logcat is. It does have an XML creator I haven't really looked into it too much to see how that works there's a description of it right here um, we'll, we'll come back to that maybe later. You do have this reboot thing right here which allows you to shut down, reboot, hot boot, reboot to recovery, or reboot to bootloader. Um, so you can do all that from right there. And if you have an online bootloader like I do, you can reboot to recovery and it'll get you right into Torp Recovery or whatever if you've had that installed. Um, so that is quite nice. You do have a wipe Delvic feature just to fix some issues you're having. You do have a flashlight. You can kind of see it light up up there in the back corner. Um, you can turn on and off which is pretty cool, just built into the application. You have an MD5 checker. So what an MD5 checker is, is when you download a ROM or something like that, it's gonna normally have a link with an MD5 number. Um, once you download the ROM, you can go in here and find it in your file browser, whatever it may be, click on it, and it will actually check that number and, and show you guys that number. If that number matches, then you know you have a correct download and it's all going to work right when you flash it. So that's why that's built into here. It's really nice. It's also an ES file explorer, which is what I use. You can also do that from there. Uh, so we have CPU controls, which actually is no frills CPU controls. It just is a shortcut to the application. So it's kind of built into here where you can do your clock speeds, min max, governors, and IO schedulers, and all that kind of good stuff, and apply that on boot. Um, you do have a build prop editor built into it, and you can edit all this stuff if you want to, if you know what you're doing. If you don't, I wouldn't recommend it. Let's see what we got. We have disk usage, so we can just kind of break down and see where our phone is using up space and on what with some numbers in it. I don't have really too much on here right now, but you can see the big one is system data right there, um, your SD storage and stuff like that. It's just a visual representation of that, so you can kind of see it easily. Uh, you do have some phone information in here and a bunch of different things like that. Uh, haven't got into it too much, but you can do like some pinging and stuff like that built into it. Um, so here you've got some cool uh, animations here that I want to go through with you. One of them is bloat options, so you can actually click it and you can de-bloat or restore bloat. So basically what bloat is is all the um, Verizon stuff that, and, and Motorola stuff that they put into the phone. Um, if you just want to remove it with one click, you can just hit this, which I'm going to show you guys that also in a second. You have your boot logos. Most boot logos come with stock logo with the Motorola, Motorola logo right there. Once you have an unlocked bootloader, you have the un bootloader's unlocked logo on boot up. So you can change that right here. You can also change animations. I have this alternate animation, this Motorola one. I kind of like it. It looks really cool. That's what I'm flashed. You just click on it and it flashes it. It's really simple. 
when you're and then whenever you reboot your phone it's going to be one of these logos so really really easy to do you do have battery meter modifications right here I'm not going to use this because it says it's specifically for a certain device I don't want to mess anything up if you make an Android backup you could still use it and just see what happens but I'm not going to mess with it right now and then you have some phone basic phone information system usage of your storage your internal and external um, and you can go to advanced to see more information on there too so there's a whole lot here and this thing does a ton um, you also have some shortcuts right here to some different things same thing like reboot options like I showed you before and then let me show you this other thing you also have a widget that comes with this which is just makes it so you can get those reboot options faster you just hit the widget and it automatically opens up the reboot options and you just pick it um, so that's a nice little widget built into this application so I'm going to show you guys first of all first thing I'm going to show you is how to get rid of your bloat options so we're going to come in here and just show you my app drawer right now and show you this like Verizon stuff things like that should be removed by debloating so let's go ahead and go in here and let's go ahead and try this debloat thing I haven't done it yet let's see what happens debloat device um, this will debloat your device content is backed up to your SD card do not delete content from SD card before restoring the bloat would you like to continue yes so this is going to go through, like I said, and debloat the device, pull off all that junk you don't need on it that I never use anyway, technically. So I'm going to let this run. We'll come back to it and show you how that worked out. All right. So it just finished. It did give me this up here. It says debloat complete notification. We can clear that out. We can go back. Let's just go out of this application really quick. It stopped. Unfortunately, Morikam Genie has stopped. Don't know what that means really. But uh, let's go see what our app drawer looks like right now. It might be because we uninstalled an application that we just got that little error. Um, so you do have your hotspot right here. That's still on there. Um, it looks pretty standard. It looks like, what did we get rid of here? Well, let's actually see what we got rid of. Let's just check something. We're going to go ahead and go into my file browser or we could go into the other one too it really doesn't make any difference and let's go to S storage SD card nope not there this one and let's go to toolbox here we go and let's go system UI no not that what do I want bloat that's it okay so it just backed up all of this stuff right through here yep all this all this stuff should be backed up and been removed from your app drawer so let's go back in the app drawer and look um, yeah it looks like some of that's been removed I have to go back and look through it all but um, let's see right here so your tour guide's been removed, favorites, APK, demo, any of this stuff that's in here, you could actually just come in here into your app, your fire browser, and restore it. So Slacker Radio would be a big one that got removed. Um, VZ Nav should have got removed. I reboot and see if it clears it out. So hang on a sec. We're going to reboot right here. So reboot. And then I just want to show you guys this, um, this logo right here, the warning bootloader is unlocked. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of this right here. So we'll, we'll do that as soon as we uh, reboot here. Um, lastly, this is the new boot animation right here. This is my new boot animation I installed, this little like Motorola thing. So that's in start, instead of the Razer HD boot animation, I just think it's just plain and cool and simple. Alright, so let's let this reboot and then um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to replace that bootloader's unlocked logo in the very beginning when your phone boots. Okay, our phone's rebooted, so I'm going to go in here to my Razer toolbox. If it'll boot up here, it might take a second because the phone's still warming up here. Um, so we're in there, we're in there. So boot logos right here. I'm just going to tell it to slam, install the stock logo so that we can lose that um, bootloader's unlocked logo on boot up. So we're going to hit this. 
grants is super user right and then up here your notification says it is completed so that should be done and there we go that's your information all right let's go ahead and try a little reboot really quick and see if that unlock bootloader symbol is gone there it is so your boot logo is back to the Motorola Motorola instead of the unlock bootloader and then your boot animation here we should have in a sec like I said is what I put in there that little pulsating Motorola Motorola logo so let's uh, just uh, boot back up here and finish this up um, all in all this uh, Razer toolbox is a awesome and great application like I said if you have a Razer HD especially the unlock bootloader this thing is just full of great stuff on there that you can do um, customization and features uh, for your device definitely definitely would recommend it um, if for nothing else to change your boot logo back to stock and um, like I said the reboot options right here or with the widget and just be able to reboot into recovery very easily to get into twerp recover clockwork mod recover whatever you have installed um, so there you go that is my review of the features and how to use some of them on this device. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Big thanks to uh, P3 Droid for putting this together for us. And uh, that's it. Um, also, please uh, check me out at RootJunkie.com right here above my thumb. You can follow me at Facebook or Twitter. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.